Hey, Drax. Surprised to admit it, I'm actually glad to see you. I too am glad you have not perished in a violent and agonizing way. Perhaps by sudden evisceration, or Bailanese organ chewing. I once saw a man have his organs chewed. <laughs> How we laughed at his pain. Like this. <laughs> but seriously, his pain must have been tremendous. Yep. Definitely the same old Drax. Absence does make the heart grow fonder. Unfortunately. Welcome home, everyone. I am Groot! Groot says it's so good to see you all. <laughs> Look at you, Peter. Somehow, you managed to get us all back in the same room. I didn't think we'd see each other after last time. Unless, you know, we ended up in the same prison. Again. Yeah. First off, I... Wanted to apologize. I was acting like kind of a... Jerk? Jackass? Coward? Ooh, ooh, I am Groot? Yes. I am sorry for all those things. Now, I wish I had better news for you, but, uh... <laughs> things have turned into a galactic war zone out there. Yes. Hala has begun killing innocent people to resurrect her army. And she's coming after us next. Hala has the Forge, her son, and an unlimited army, yet she still considers us a threat? Actually, that's... that's a long story. Baldin, come say hi. Hello. You have taken her son prisoner! <laughs> you are not the pathetic warrior I so often think you to be. I was not kidnapped. I am here to help. Baldin and I have a little arrangement. In exchange for not killing his mom, he's gonna be our bait. Whatever stops her from what she's about to do. The killing. It can't go on like this. This does give us emotional leverage. But we still have not gained any tactical advantage since the last time we fought her. Hala is heading for nowhere. For us. I'm open to suggestions on how we approach this. Well, you've been on her ship before. I can analyze the readings from last time and see if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's gotta be a weak spot or two we can exploit. If Hollis' ship has a weakness, I know you'll be able to find it. Lattery will get you everywhere, Pete. I'll do my best. Hala isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. Hey, Gamora. Hey. I wanted to thank you again. What you said back at that training hall, I really appreciate it. If you hadn't have shown up when you did, I don't know what might have happened. I meant what I said. Every word. I know. And it means a lot to me. So, what was on your mind? I'm, uh, worried about taking on Hala. I know what you mean. But the others look to you as their leader. Put on a strong face for them. Like this? Keep working on it. See you in a bit. Quill, I was waiting for you. I... I wish to apologize. For what? I realize I have not been the same since we slew Thanos. I was so consumed in my emotions that I uselessly sacrificed myself. My selfish act put the Guardians at risk. For that I am deeply sorry. 
and I hope you can accept my sincere apology. Apology accepted, Drax. Don't worry about it. Good. Now let us repress these feelings and never speak of them again. I will try to redeem myself once again in the coming battle against Hala. So, that giant space worm, how'd you kill it? It is a heroic tale that people will talk about for generations. I launched myself into the jaws of the worm creature, narrowly avoiding endless rows of teeth. I used my blades to slow my descent, shredding the creature's pulsating throat. Once within its noxious bowels, I detonated the drive cores of six dead ships. The explosion resulting from digestive fumes and flammable fecal matter was the most beautiful sight I have ever seen. How the hell did you get out of there? Peter, some may not know this, but when a creature is in its death throes, the sphincter relaxes. I was forced to swim through bile. Gland juices seeped into my nose and mouth until I emerged. Moist. Reeking. Victorious. <sighs> I look forward to repeating this tale many, many times for the others. You ready for one last battle? I do not believe this will be our last battle. But for Hala, it will be. I'm sorry we left you for dead. I do not blame you for your ineptitude. I also thought I was bound to die. It was a reasonable misunderstanding. Later, Drax. What happens later? How's it going, Bowie? No, oh, it's a good boy. Or girl. Do space worms even have a gender? It's amazing how much I miss the stars. Star Lord, I was hoping you might come by. I was ruminating on what you said earlier. Do you believe I could be a good leader for the Kree? Well, you'd be better than Hala, that's for sure. That does not set the bar very high. It's just... I've been thinking about it for some time. And perhaps it's not as ridiculous an idea as I originally thought. We didn't really get to know each other that well. Tell me about yourself. There's not much to tell. I am Hala's only child. Other than that, there is nothing very interesting about me. Oh, come on, that can't be true. I mean, you gotta have, like, some kind of hobby. I dedicated most of my youth to studying Cree history, as well as galactic law, science, and philosophy. Does that count as a hobby? Oh my god, you are a total nerd. I think that's fascinating, Baldin. Oh, thank you, Mantis. I know this is a touchy subject. It happened to me too. But how did you die? Oh, uh, well, years ago I worked at a reactor, mining and producing energy from my mother's war effort. There was an accident. As far as I know, no one made it out. My mother is different now. I don't even recognize her anymore. You know, for a Kree, you're... You're pretty different. I'll admit, most Kree are zealots. Raised on the ideology that war and revolution are the only way to get things done. My mother taught me differently. She used to believe in reason and compromise before battle. 
But now, I'm probably a disappointment to her. I gotta go. See you around. Peter, hello. I've been telling Baldin all about you. About me? I was just telling him how you rescued me from being held as prisoner back at Emnios, how your feelings guided you to my tomb, and you pried me from my stone prison. I must admit, I did not think you were capable of such chivalry. Perhaps I was wrong about you. Peter is one of the most heroic people I know. Is that so? I'm sure Mantis is just exaggerating. Chivalrous and humble? You are full of surprises, Peter Quill. I'm glad you're back with us, Mantis. Honestly, I'm glad too. I'm sorry I left before. I was just caught up in the moment, and the strain was too much on my emotions. I know it wasn't for very long, but being alone and surrounded by strangers was overwhelming. If Groot hadn't found me, I don't know what I would have done. Once this is all over, what are you gonna do? I hadn't considered it. I think maybe I'd like to travel. There's so much I never got to experience when I was locked away. It would be exciting to live my own life instead of laying down inside a box. So, you and Baldin seem to be getting along. I was trapped for years in a sarcophagus, and Baldin has been, well, dead. It's nice to be able to relate to someone and have shared life experience. Well, that is adorable. It's... it's not like that. I should go. Lots of work to do. Of course. You still owe me 50 units from our last sparring practice. I do not. You cheated. Oh? Would you like a rematch? No. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. You ready to kick some hollow butt? I am Groot. <laughs> Wish we were all as optimistic about it as you are. I can't believe we managed to get everyone back. <laughs> I am Groot. Groot says the only reason we're all back is because of you. I'm inclined to agree. Thanks, guys. Hey, thanks for showing me your memory. It put a lot of things in perspective. Hey, speaking of, what did you show him anyway? I am... Groot. <laughs> oh yeah, Stash Lord. I almost forgot about that upper lip atrocity. I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. You had me worried back there, Groot. Thought you were mad at me or something. Hmm. I am Groot. Thanks, buddy. You know, if, uh, this doesn't go our way, I just want to tell you... Mm. I am Groot. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> I am Groot. Really? Pete got in touch with his feelings? That actually worked? I am Groot. <laughs> Good one.
What you got cooking? Yeah, about that. I've been pouring over the scans we got last time and we hit the Revenant. Good news is, I know what we gotta do to take Hala down. Bad news is, I don't know how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have to disable that super gun of hers if we want any chance of beating this. Simple, right? No more gun, no more dead people. I mean, we'll still have to deal with Hala herself. Taking down her gun sounds like explosions might be involved. Are explosions involved? Maybe. Right. So, far as I can tell, there's a number of key points on the ship to factor in. Here, 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 and here. That's as far as I've got. Okay. So lay it on me. What do you want to know? This place looks important. Yeah, that's the computer core, where the ship's system can be accessed. We need someone to hack into the computer. It's vital in getting that weapon offline. What's this? The main hall system. You might not remember, but it was filled with those cryopods. And because somebody charged up the Eternity Forge, all those dead Kree are now alive Kree, and will need to be dealt with. Big ol' hallway like this? Great place for a distraction! What's this one? Those are the access ways to the computer core. Kind of like the hard drive for the ship. If someone don't cover those access ways, reinforcements will be sent straight to the core and overwhelm the hacker in no time. Is that the weapon? Right. And I've actually got a plan for this one. It's got a couple of points on the outside of the ship where the energy is focused before it discharges. But get this, these points aren't guarded. They're just out there in the open. Probably because the Kree don't think anyone's insane enough to attack a super weapon head on. Sounds like a challenge. But I think we're up to the task. If by we you mean you, then yes, we are. Wait, what, <laughs> me? You're the one with the jet boots. I got a slew of homebrewed explosives and deflectors. You'll plant the explosives on each of those energy points, and then when Hala fires the weapon again, boom! It'll blow itself up. And what if they fire the weapon before I'm done planting the deflectors? Just finish before that happens. We need our hacker to take down the shields and clear a way for you to plant the explosives. Someone to guard that hacker from any attack in Kree, and a third person to stage a distraction to keep them occupied. But as far as plans go, it's pretty insane. Then, uh... Suicidal? Yeah, that word. Ah, this is my favorite kind of plan. It's got all the adjectives. Mine too. No, oh, I almost forgot. We need someone to grab Hala's helmet. Won't be able to trigger the weapon without it. It's probably in her quarters somewhere, so someone will have to steal it right out from under her nose. Or if it's on her head, right out from above her nose. That sounds like you're volunteering, Rocket. Oh yeah, tell the 40-pound guy to steal the helmet off a Kree accuser. Be serious, Pete. All right, I'll pick who does what. Hacker, protector, distractor, helmet thief, and me. Yeah, and if all that don't work, Guess we'll just have to resurrect this guy and have him chop Hala's ships to pieces. 
<laughs> Good one. That could actually work if the forge contains enough power and if we could reacquire it. Well, we'll uh <laughs> we'll call that plan B. When in doubt, let magic save the day. I am Groot. If we're going to attack the Revenant, we all need a job to do. You're gonna be on protection duty. Hmm. <laughs> I am Groot. Good call, Quill. Groot's always had my back, and I ain't even been shot once. Not once! I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. Hey, Pete. You and Groot make up? Is the Dream Team back together? Yeah, we sat down and talked it out. I think we both said stuff we regretted. But we're good now. I am Groot. <laughs> back at you, buddy. Are you sure this plan is gonna work? Nope. But I'm okay with that this time. You guys got my back, and that's all I need. Thanks for sticking with me through all this. I was glad to have you at my side when everything was going wrong. Hey, I don't need you getting mushy on me too. Groot already fills that role nicely. But you're welcome. I've got a role in mind for you, Rocket. Oh yeah? I want you to hack the computer. Logical choice. I won't let you down. Catch you in a bit. Mm-hmm. Home brewed explosives, huh? It is strange to have so many. So, Rocket has this plan. A just crazy enough to work one? Yeah, the usual kind. Not surprised. So, what role do I play in this disaster? You're sneaky. So, why don't you stealth down there and steal Hala's helmet? Her helmet? All right. Sounds like a challenge. Leave it to me, Peter. See you in a bit. Hey, Drex. We've got a plan of attack ready to go. I've just got to divvy up the roles. Of course. I trust you will grant me the most important job. We need someone to cause a distraction in the main hall and keep the Kree at bay. You think you can handle that? <laughs> My friend, if you need Kree to be killed, I will gladly kill them for you. Pete, looks like Hala just entered the system. We're gonna have to hurry. It's now or never. All right, guys, bring it in. So, here's the plan. We're making a run on Hala's ship to take that super weapon offline. I've assigned each of you an important role. Hacker, backup, distraction, and of course someone to steal that helmet. I will install the explosive so when the trigger's pulled, the gun blows up right in Hala's face. This will require everyone to work together flawlessly. I do not believe I have seen that happen. Ever. Are you sure this plan will work? Yeah, we ain't exactly got a stellar track record when it comes to plans going our way. We're still here, aren't we? That means something's working. I trust each and every one of you to do what you do best. Now things will go wrong, they always do. But we'll figure it out as we go. We have everyone we need to do that right here. Uh-oh, here comes a patented quill spell. I mean, look at Rocket. Damn it. Should not have drawn attention to myself. What should I be looking at? Is there something stuck in his fur? Or his little pebble teeth? You want me to stick something somewhere? I'll go get my gun. He's the number one smartass in the galaxy. And damn proud of it. You should be. Your self-confidence crushing wit is legendary. Peter, 
Over here! It's me! Drax! The Destroyer! I volunteer to go next. Oh, I could never forget you, big guy. Do not hold back. Tell me what I am. <laughs> oh, this should be enjoyable. A perfect murdering machine who, despite all odds, has become more bloodthirsty than ever before. You... You are too kind, Peter. I am getting emotional. And... Don't. And Gamora. Peter? I didn't think two people with so little in common could become such amazing friends. But here we are. And I am always gonna have your back. And I'll have yours. Thanks, Peter. Uh, and what about Mantis? What about me? I don't know what's going on here. Our newest and most peculiar friend. We are friends. I have friends. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Peter. And last, but certainly not least, Groot. I am Groot. The beating heart of the Guardians. Mm -hmm. I am Groot. Ah, <laughs> right back at you, man. Sure, we have our differences, but we all share something in common. Arrest records. Trust issues. I am Groot. Dependency on oxygen-rich atmospheres to survive. Not exactly. We're survivors. No matter what life throws our way, we persevere. As long as we have each other, we can beat anything. Hala doesn't stand a chance. That was actually a good speech. Yes! Everyone is feeling inspired. Then let's rock and roll.